if you have a little bit of energy left, is there's a private group that I told you about before, and because you had asked me about that. And yes. I like to do a, a behind the scenes couple minutes for that group. It's not, it's not censored. It's in a closed membership environment. And they want to hear what you think would be interesting just casually. And it could be, you know, how to deal with the situation in the cities with the insanity that's going on there or any other subject that you'd like to share with people okay. who are just really interested in what you have to say. Anything you want to talk about for a couple minutes okay uh the, well the thing that is bugging me the most right now uh is this narrative uh, that there is something wrong with the american people um uh, i heard a minister the other day um mm -hmm. uh, and he was and he was saying that that all of us need to recognize that the protesters uh, have legitimate beefs and that uh, we need to be sensitive to their uh, demands. And that's not true. Look, the, I told you, Richard, the American people are awesome. I met them by the thousands on numerous, on, on numerous mm -hmm. tours. The American people basically want the best for everyone. Uh, yeah. There was this uh, narrative that said that, that the Victims of Hurricane uh, Katrina suffered uh, because the American people did not care about the uh, victims of of, uh, of Hurricane Katrina. Um, right. And the American people gave fourteen billion dollars to the victims of wow. the hurricane, and they said that was the most amount raised ever for anything but the media said well the american people do, uh, do not care, care about these victims because most of them are black that's a lie uh, oh, uh and then this whole thing about p police i know that uh senator tim scott came up uh, uh with uh some kind of police reform uh and so uh uh, and President Trump, he uh, signed it. But that really implies that there's something wrong with the police. Last yeah. year, only 10 black people were shot by police, and most of them were righteous uh, sh uh, like justi shooting. Justified. justified. Right, uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, and Heather McDonald has done tremendous research. If you haven't heard of her, uh, she has done tremendous research, which confirms that the largest defender of black lives is police. Heather, McDo <laughs> Heather McDonald? Heather McDonald. Uh, yeah. She has this YouTube video called Does Truth Matter? And she has all of the stats uh, showing that in state hmm. after state, policemen are saving black lives and blacks are taking uh, uh, black lives. So we have this. So Senator Scott, uh, he does this police reform uh, bill. And I guess that's fine. But what it does is still sell that narrative that there's something wrong with the police and, and, yeah. that, uh, and the police, they must be fixed. Yes. Yes, there are bad police like there are bad doctors and lawyers right, and, and so right. on. Uh, 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 but to say that there's something wrong uh, uh, with the police department and it must be fixed, that just bothers me uh, that we keep pandering uh, to these narratives uh, that are total lies. Yeah, I, I agree. In fact, I, I would suspect that it's the same percentage within the police departments in it, as it would be in any stressful job, the number of people that kind of break under it and go crazy or that got in and weren't vetted carefully enough. But I know I've met a large number of police and most of them are really good people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just a few exceptions. That's all. Uh, right. And that's like, uh, and that's like, and, and what else? a friend of mine uh, told me that, that his his high school guidance uh, counselor uh, he offered him a scholar a scholarship to uh, 
uh, art college, but the payoff was that my friend had to give him sexual favors. My <laughs> friend said no. Uh, you know, right. and this guy, uh, uh, so, so does that mean that every single high school guidance uh, counselor is bad? Obviously not. And they should right. be, uh, you know, it's just totally absurd. Uh, yeah, I completely agree. And the TV is just trying to make everybody hate each other, the media. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Because if it's not the right type of police brutality, then they won't show it. You know, there are a lot of people being killed under other, other circumstances and they ignore it completely. So the, I don't know the solution to the media problem in the country, but it would sure be nice if they weren't out there, you know, brainwashing people 100 24 hours a day and they are extremely power and it is 24 hours a day i wake up two o'clock in the morning and i turn on the television and there's a story bashing donald trump i turn you know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, you know it just really doesn't matter uh what time you uh, yeah. you watch it's 24 uh four, seven yeah it's true and and they're setting up fake filming, you know, of events out in the mm -hmm. town and people don't know about it. But I think we just have to keep doing the best each one of us can. And um, like we were talking about on the main show, we have power that we forgot all about and it's still there and it could wake up again. Right, right, right. Uh, I just have uh, one more fast po po police uh, story. Uh, sure. Uh, for you, uh, I guess around 1976, my cousin was having a nervous uh, a breakdown, and he was holding his uh, uh, toddler sons in the basement, threatening to shoot them. Uh, his wife called the uh, Baltimore Police uh, de uh, de Department, and uh, a young cop came, and this old fat cop came uh, uh -huh. and the young cop he ran in to the house and the old uh, the old cop oh and both of these cops were uh, white and the okay. old cop uh, hobbled up the uh, steps and he went to the basement uh, door and he talked my cousin out of the basement uh, uh -huh. I, I mean uh, yes <laughs> uh -huh. uh, he says uh, he says Come on, son. I know how you feel, but you don't want to uh, uh, do this. He was amazing. Yeah, uh, but, incredible. But we will never hear about a cop uh, like that. And this was back in 1976, you know, but you yeah, will never hear yeah. about it. Uh, because uh, we keep hearing this narrative that uh, every single cop uh, wants to uh, shoot a black person just I for know, being black. I know. But you're right. There, there are stories like that. Just that, that's an incredible person that can do that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It needs to be recognized. You know, they're working under such incredible stress, and they're they've got the self control and internal centeredness that they can just. And they know if they fail, these kids will be shot on the other side of the door, exactly. and they have to deal with that. And they're just stay calm and Absolutely. Pro project that emotional influence on mm -hmm. the other person. That's mm -mm. incredible. That kind of person should be on television all over the world, you know. I agree. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but this is what, what we are dealing with. We are dealing with the fake news media and a political party that is hell-bent on keeping us divided and at one another's throats for their own personal political gain. And I yeah. keep using the same word that is so evil. They're, <laughs> being like used as, evil. they're being used as a tool by higher up power structures. And they're going along with it for some reason. Well, uh, something else that you have said, uh, they think that they're going to be a part of the uh, elite who uh, sit at the table. <laughs> yeah, the elite world government, I think. Mm-hmm. And they're mistaken about that because the world government would never trust them for a second because they already got there by selling out everybody in the world. Absolutely. So we need to reach those guys. And I think we're, we're working on it. So I agree. Thank you, Lloyd. It's an honor to have you here. And um, 
I hope you'll well, come back soon. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, and I will keep you posted about uh, what we are doing on, on the road. Are you on the West Coast? Uh, I I'm, think so, right? Uh, I am in Arizona. Okay, we're going to, I know we're going to be in Nevada. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be. I think we might be in, in Arizona, too, but I'll, I'll you, keep you uh, posted. Okay, let me know. Are you going into California? Uh, I, we were. but Hopefully I think the people will be allowed to come out of their houses to see exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was our original uh, plan, though. Yeah. But, uh, There's a whole I'm bunch of people sure. in California, you know. They have like 40 million <laughs> almost. So it would be nice if you could talk to them. I agree. I agree. We'll see how it goes. Stay in touch. All right, guys. uh, And we'll watch for the links that you send, too. Good. Thank you, Richard. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye.